Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome to the CF Students Rap Video 2022. We're wrapping up all of 2022, all the great things that happened, all the fun things. My name is Jonathan. I get the privilege to look after students here, and I'm with some of my favorite people, your student pastors. And we're all excited to be here. And we're going to answer a couple questions about 2022. But as we're answering, we want you to drop in the chat your answer as well. The first one is this. What was the greatest thing to happen in 2022? Anyone can answer. Greatest thing. I got one. So in 2022, we launched our Boca Campus. Love that. Love Boca. Boca. Anyone else? Yeah. Greatest thing. I got one. I got one. Go ahead. Greatest thing of 2022 is watching the World Cup. Seeing yeah. Messi score. USA, goals. USA, USA. Yeah, we lost. I'm sorry. We didn't. We didn't. It didn't go great. Oh, you got one? Can I just my man the mic? I moved to Florida. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Woohoo! Oh man, <laughs> we're glad that you're here. Yeah. That's awesome. All right, I'm gonna switch it up on us. What was your favorite CF students moment of 2022? All right. Got to be something to see your students right down there in the summer. Mine definitely was the Christmas vibe that we just had wow. where yeah. everybody was doing karaoke. It was literally so much fun. That's yeah, awesome. I love that. Not the sign vibe. Who else? Oh, I got one. Oh, let's go. Well, after, of course, marrying Zachy Poo Poo. Oh, she got married. Love him. Um, <laughs> this is probably my favorite CF student moment was movement camp. We yeah. all... Yes, give it up. We love Movement Camp so much, but what was really special is actually this year, we have two students at Royal Palm, Taylor and Tori. Love you girls. Um, I have been walking with them since they were in sixth grade, just helping them learn what faith looks like. And I've been watching them literally live out their faith. They're in ninth grade now. And it was so cool because we got to be, well, I got to be a part of helping baptize them. So these girls are literally on fire. They're living their life for Jesus. They're telling everyone about Jesus. I just want to let you guys know, I love you so much. So proud of you. Definitely my favorite moment. Yeah, I love that. Anyone else favorite CF student moment? I got, I got, I got a favorite CF student moment. Okay. I love what Summer was saying about the vibes. Our vibes was off the hook this yeah. year. I'm telling you, it was crazy. At Bell Glade, we reached our highest capacity CF student. We had 83 students yeah. on a Wednesday night. Let's get it. Let's hey, Bell Glade represented the chat, man. Hashtag Bell my Glade. city. Yeah, we on top. All right, yeah. let's go. Let's represent Bell Glade. Yeah. <laughs> love that. Love that. So listen, this time of year, everyone's making New Year's resolutions, right? So uh, by a show of hands real fast, if you completed yours, let me see your hands. Completed your 2022 New Year's resolution. Oh, wow. All right. All right. I want to know if I want to know who has completed the most ambitious New Year's Eve resolution of all time for you, right? Who, who, who wants to go? Anyone? Wants yeah, to? I'll go ahead. Go so ahead. I had an ambitious New Year's resolution for last year. I wanted to read through the Bible in 30 days. In one month, read through the entire Bible. Wow. I had a student at Stewart, shout out to you, Graham, who read it in under two weeks. Oh. All right. Breaking all sorts of records. And so I just years? completed my New Year's resolution. Supposed to do it in 30 days. It took the whole year, but hey, we got it done. Let's right. go. Bible reading. All right, all right. 2022 was my year, right? Okay. For I set out I set out to do something crazy, right? Okay. I set out to do I, I needed a glow up, all right? Oh. Hey, hey. So here's what I did. I set out to lose over 100 pounds. Okay. Yeah, and I did it. Wow. Dang. Put me on the regimen. Let me get it. All right. For the rest of us mere humans who did not complete our resolutions, I want to know your biggest fail. It could be this year, any year in the past. What's your biggest New Year's resolution fail? I had a big fail. I know that one of my resolutions was I was going to run every single day of the year. Yeah. And I only got like two weeks in. <laughs> so no this year, my resolution, I'm going to run for two years straight. <laughs> so what else? Biggest New Year's resolution fail. Yeah. So I had a, it, was, it was ambitious. I wanted to read the Bible in a year. And um, I didn't read the Bible in a year. And so um, I'll just gonna, I'm just going to try again next January. We're just going to restart. There yeah. We there we go. I got one, too. I got one, too. Similar to Antonio, I told myself that I was going to run a marathon this year, oh. and I didn't even run a 5K. Oh! 
There's still time. Sign her up. In two days, you got to complete it. <laughs> I love that. What are you looking forward to the most in 2023? As you look at 2023, what's the thing that you're looking forward to the I'm most? I'm ready. I got one. I am looking forward to movement camp. Yeah. yeah. But specifically, I have a I have a goal to bring all of Jupiter. Jupiter, can yeah. we do it? Every single student at camp this summer. We believe it. <laughs> I love that. Someone else. Looking forward oh, to the most. I have one. I have one. I'm so excited. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Similar. I'm super excited for a movement camp that's coming up for next year. Yay, uh. yay, yay. But I'm also really, really excited that we're going to be having the first ever mixed movement camp. Yeah. Coming soon. Yeah. You yeah. heard it here first. More yes, details. More details to come. But we're coming, 56. <laughs> we are coming. Yes, we are. <laughs> That was awesome. Anyone else? Here, here, here. I got one. It's a personal one. I'm getting married. Yeah! <laughs> Kaylee Cato. Hey, congratulations. <laughs> I love that we get to do this because this is really a chance for us to kind of remember all that's happened in 2022, the good, the bad, the ugly. But also it, it reminds me of this verse that's found in Psalms chapter 20, 77, verse 11 through 12 that says this. But then I recall all you have done, O Lord, and I remember your wonderful deeds of long ago. They are constantly in my thoughts. I cannot stop thinking about your mighty works. And uh, when this Bible is talking, the Bible is talking about remembering it's not just talking about recalling some of the details or any of that from the past. Like, I don't know about you, but I have a terrible memory. Like, I'm a person who I will go upstairs in my house to go get something, and I go, why am I here right now? Like, that's, but it's not just asking us to recall the details. When it's using this word remember, it's really saying look back on the things that have happened and allow those things to impact your present and your future. And so what the psalmist is essentially saying is they remember all the good things that God has done in the midst of the current situation that they're in. They remember the good things he has done and remember that that same God from back then is the same God with them right now. And it's the same God that will be with them in the future. And it doesn't matter if our situation changes because his character doesn't change. And we can trust that. And so I just want to encourage you here from Sea of Students that whatever you may be facing, whatever you have coming your way in 2023, you can remember all the good works of the Lord and remember that he still is the good Lord in your life currently. But if you haven't made that choice to follow Jesus, to surrender your life completely to him, there's no better time than the present moment. Because when we talk about looking back on what the, God, what the Lord has done, God made the ultimate sacrifice. When we were separated from him, he sent his son to die on our behalf so that we can now live for him. And we can have a right relationship with him. And recalling that, remembering that, means to now put our faith in that, put our trust in God. So if that's you, if you want to make that choice, we're going to say a prayer together. It's not just about the words behind the prayer, but it's about the heart behind those words. And if you say that, you're going to be in a right relationship with Jesus. If that's you right now. Let's say this prayer. Say, God, I know I sinned against you. But I know you sent your son to die for my sins. So I turn away from my sins to turn towards you. And to make you the Lord of my life from this day forward. Amen, amen. Listen, we are so proud of you if you made that choice. But also, 2022 was great, but we're believing 2023 is going to be even better. Yeah. Listen, stick around. After here, we got a video game tournament that you want to make sure you're a part of. Also, we can't wait to see you back in January because the first week in January is January Vibes. So you want to make sure you're there gonna be awesome from the cf family to yours we want to say happy new year